Hey, hey, JB here, excited. You're, I've been getting a lot of questions on moving the remarkable notes into my files on my computer and how do I do that? Because they're stored in the remarkable uh, kind of their proprietary software, but I also like to move them around. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the computer and show you this so that we can, we can uh, kind of get some workflow going here. By the way, if you don't know me, my name is Jimmy Glossinger. Thanks for watching. This is a place for reviews, tutorials. I also do some vlogging, some lifestyle stuff, some great tips. I just have a lot of fun on YouTube here. So if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and of course that like if you like this video. Okay, let's go on the computer. Okay, welcome in my computer. And we can see here, this is the remarkable software. Okay, and then behind me, I have opened up uh, a browser using Chrome. And I'll move it over here a little bit. And I have Google Keep open, okay? Now, I'm not going to show you all my stuff that I have Google Keep. But basically, what I do is I create cards uh, for different notes, right? So I have all these cards, let's say golf. And, and then I label them on the left. I, I can do a organizational video on that if you want. Please leave it in the comments Um if you, want, if you want me to show you how I do that, but I'm just showing you how I store the remarkable notes because I'm getting a lot of questions on that. So as you look here, let's say this was my homework folder and I wanted to make sure that I was keeping my homework. Basically, let's just take a note here. Let's go into sacred six and let's just grab this miscellaneous note and, and basically control click it and export it as a PDF. So I'm gonna call this homework and basically what I'm doing now is I'm saving it as a PDF. Now the PDF is now on my desktop. So what I do then is I would go in my Google Drive, okay? And I've, I've organized my drive by the notes. So this would be the homework folder that I would keep it in. And then I drag it in here and it's uploading it. So now the PDF is in notes. Now, as I told you before, I use Google Keep and I have the various labels and then all these documents put up, but if you look, I take this link and I just come in here in notes and I control click it and I get, get shareable link and I put that in my Google Keep. So that way every all my notes are in one place and if I wanna get to that folder, I just click that link and then all my notes are in there. So the way that I transfer the files then is to use the actual um, uh, software that comes with Remarkable and then I just transfer it into my Google Documents, and then it's stored forever in the cloud. Now, it's stored here with Remarkable, too. It's stored in here, so you don't even need to do that. But if you want one layer of organization that's really organized, and I use this for typing notes. Uh, I use this for all kinds of stuff. That's, you know, spreadsheets, documents. They all go into here, and that way everything's organized. And then I have my spreadsheets organized, my documents, and I use links to the various documents. And this Google Keep is, is kind of the, uh, you know, the, the file catalog or the indexer. And the cool thing about it is you can change colors on these. Again, I have a lot of personal and private stuff on my master one and, and my other labels, so I really can't show you those. But I wanted to show you how I do that. So these cards... I have a ton of these cards with links, and when I want to open something, I just click it. And again, it can be a Google document, it can be a sheet, or it could be a Remarkable note that I made a long time ago, and I can click that. So the Remarkable, um, which I'm assuming the two is going to run the same software as the one, really looks good for bringing PDFs out of it and then into your desktop and then bring them in into Google Keep, uh, or actually into Google Drive, and then making those notes on Google Keep. So hopefully that helps you. I know it's a little bit different than what a lot of people use, but for me, it's a great system and it really keeps me organized and it keeps all my files in, in the Google Drive and the Google Suite system. And so I know where everything is. When I ever need to find it, it's there. And if I don't have a Remarkable with me, even though they have great apps, I like their system, it works. I've also got it in the Google system, uh, which is kind of a duplicate thing. And it really helps me stay organized with my workflow. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that really helped you. Uh, you can get into detail uh, more and more, and I'll keep coming. Please, uh, if you have any comments, leave them below, and I can answer your questions. I'm big on questions because it allows me to uh, build the videos based on what you want. So as always, thank you for the comments. Thank you for the subscribes. Thank you for the likes and clicking that bell. I'm going to keep bringing you good information every day that I possibly can. I try to upload videos three to five times a week. And when you answer, ask questions, it makes it a lot easier for me. All right, so lots of love to you. Go out and have a great one. And thanks for supporting the Morning Coach channel here.